Back here in Milwaukee, pro-Palestinian demonstrations stretched into a second day on the UWM campus as protesters doubled down on demands that the university cut ties with Israel. After some protesters spent the night outside on the lawn outside Mitchell Hall, that encampment again swelled in size throughout the day as more supporters gathered. CBS 58's Adam Reif is live on campus tonight where protesters are getting ready to spend a second night outside. Adam. That's right, and just a moment ago at the top of the hour began a self-imposed quiet hour as these protesters do not want to disturb nearby apartment buildings. They will no longer be using the megaphones or chanting for the rest of the night, but there are still plenty of people here, plenty of activity outside Mitchell Hall. For a long time now, we know the what of this situation. We know what they want, we know what the university says, and we know what the protesters are saying back to the university. What we don't know is the when, when this situation could come to a head or when they could be forced to leave this campus. It was peaceful. Um, we all were obviously on guard. But there were no issues overnight as protesters slept in tents on the UWM campus. Nothing happened at night during the encampment. After preparing Monday for a confrontation that never happened, Tuesday's atmosphere was relatively less intense. I do feel a difference today. Um, of course, we can't let our guard down entirely, but we don't feel as, you know, immediately pressured. What do we do? Protesters said there have been no issues with police or any counter protesters. At least one Jewish organization, Hillel Milwaukee, asked its community to stay away from the protests, saying, quote, counter protesting will only lend additional attention to the protests, increasing the chance for violent encounters. Hillel called it another painful week in a long and painful year for Jewish students. In Milwaukee Tuesday, Governor Tony Evers supported the right to protest, but said those doing it cannot break laws. At some point in time, the encampments have to end. Evers said he is looking for a peaceful solution, adding sending in the National Guard is not on the table, but the state will take action if necessary. Whether that's done voluntarily or not, but uh, yes, it's, it's an issue. So far, UWM has not taken action to remove protesters despite calling the encampment unlawful. The protesters deflected Tuesday when asked about violating state code. What we say is illegal is destroying every single university in Gaza. What we say is illegal is right. occupation. The university has turned down a request to speak with administrators about the protests. On Tuesday afternoon, they issued a new statement that said in part, quote, members of the UWM administration are having conversations with students and community members in the background and are working on peaceful resolutions. Tuesday was peaceful, but there was no resolution, so protesters prepared for another night outside. It's kind of hard to gauge. We're growing by the numbers every day, so uh, hopefully we get a lot more people tonight. Back out live here outside Mitchell Hall. You're hearing sirens from a fire truck that's unrelated to this protest as it drives by. We have seen the last announcement of the night was about some yoga mats, blankets, and hand warmers for those people that will be staying overnight. This will be the second night, as we mentioned. Important to note that when we talked with Governor Evers across town earlier today, he did not say when the state may take action on moving people off of these encampments, either in Milwaukee or Madison. Live here in Milwaukee, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News.